From the unknown to the stars, from the couch to the car, from the unheralded and the unheard, to the legends and beyond, it's where we all belong. Yes, this is where it all starts. From every genre, from every plane, this is where the music's played. So tune right in, watch your brain. This is where it all begins. Welcome to the show. Let the music flow of every style and creed. And you can bet your socks that ETX rocks. ETX rocks. Hey guys, Boston Chris here with the 24th episode of Songbirds and Troubadours presented by the ETX Rock Show, where we focus on the songwriter. That's right, one of the most unheralded arms of the music business, in my humble opinion. And we love original music on the ETX Rock Show. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time, the way the show works is we're going to have both of these guys perform five original songs each in a song swap fashion. Um, you'll hear only original music here tonight. So if you're a cover band fan, go to the next video. Or just find a jukebox. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the all original music here on the show. Also, in the middle of the show, you're going to see a question swap. Now, I've interviewed over 300 artists in the last couple of years, so it's always fun to see the artists interview each other. It's super cool. <laughs> you never know what kind of questions are going to be asked, especially from guys who know each other, and both these guys know each other. <laughs> uh, but we have a treat for all of y'all out there today. I call it Cody Squared, but we have Cody Joe Hodges and Cody Wayne in the house. Super excited to have y'all here. I'm going to come up here so I can see y'all. Cody Joe, uh, where are you from? And tell us a little bit about your music. From uh, Caldwell, Texas, the College Station area, more, more, uh, more, uh, I Central guess, Texas. specifically the Brazos Bottom, I guess, yeah. on yeah. Uh, Farm Road 50 <laughs> down in between. Brian Middle Caldwell of nowhere, Station. right? Yeah, Cal yeah. Uh, Caldwell, Texas, so, uh, uh, Cody Wayne? Yeah, yeah, I'm down the road in Henderson, Texas. Uh, grew up all around this area. Nobody ever knows where Leverett's Chapel is, so we live in Henderson now, and, and, uh, but Cody woods. Wayne has put Leverett's Chapel on the map. Yes. Yeah. All ten people. Yeah, I know where it is. <laughs> you blink, you, blink, you miss it. That's it. The only reason why you might not miss it is because the school is right on the map. Yes, right? it, it's, it's literally like you come down the hill, city limit sign with no population, Yep. school, you go down the hill some more, city limit sign with no yeah. population. Well, that's because that's the it. population <laughs> changes when people just drive through. You know, it's like a 30% oh, yeah. <laughs> change in population. Well, if the wind blows, you know, you lean this way, you're out of town, <laughs> right. you lean back, you're in town. That's so. right. <laughs> well, here tonight on the show, you guys are going to hear some good old country music from these two. You're not going to hear any pop music tonight. I'm sorry about that, but good old country music. They both have singles that were just in the top 30. I know Cody Wayne has a new single out called Good Old Country Song. I hope he's going to play that tonight. Absolutely. It was co-written by a good well, friend of both yeah, of ours. You know, I, I thought about it. I, don't, I just don't think it would be good. Yeah, forget <laughs> it. You know, you're just going to have to wait, brother. <laughs> but yeah, that was co-written by a good friend of ours named yes. Neil, Neil Laney. Yes, um, and I hope you'll tell that story as part of the song. Absolutely. Awesome. And uh, Cody Joe Hodges just had a top 30 hit with Roll That Way. Absolutely. Got a new single out, patriotic tune, uh, called God, Family, and Country. The thing... Three things that we yeah. probably all hold, hold dear. You going to play that tonight? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So without any further ado, guys, it's all original music from Cody Joe Hodges and Cody Wayne, only here on Songbirds and Troubadours. Y'all don't go anywhere. This is going to be wild. This tune was written by my wife and I, Jamie McKean. Uh, we were uh, sitting at the house one day and just thinking about <clears throat> how country music is kind of going one way uh, on, on the mainstream level. and. We're doing something in the bushes. I don't know really what we're doing, but but we're uh, kind of staying staying right outside of the mainstream. And uh, we wrote a song called "Getting Back to Country," and it was my pretty much the the song that started me on my radio tours. And um, gonna do it for you right here. I, you know, just a little quick thing. Just throw in a little little banner here. The very first uh, radio tour I ever went on, I was a day behind you. Literally, every radio station I went to, you'd already just been there. I was like, who is this Cody Hodges dude? I gotta find out who this is. So, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how we met. Yeah. So. Absolutely. It's, it's crazy how many, how many folks like us are, are out there doing this thing. And, and uh, you know, we're just sometimes just a radio station behind the other ones. Yeah. 
But uh, this song's called Getting Back to Country. It's a song about getting back to the root. What happened to outlaws like Haggard? Country was meant for the bold and the brash. A fiddle and guitar with a little bit of rasp. It was songs meant for drinking and good times to last. You know that right. Let's get back to country. I was born and where I'll be Let's get back to easy living Rocking under that oak tree Take me back to Grandpa's Watching he haul on TV Let's get back to country It's where I want to be I love the ladies, Tucker and Lynn Who sang about them heartaches and the places they've been Started with nothing, just wearing a grin And it was music from the soul, I want to hear it Let's get back to country I was born and where I'll be Let's get back to easy living Oh yeah Rocking under that oak tree Take me back to grandpa Watching he haul on TV. Let's get back to country. It's where I want to stay. Hit number 23 on the Texas charts. That was pretty much uh, Jamie and I's first, first release to the Texas country. Very nice. Uh, charts. But, uh, what you got for us, Cody Wayne? Well, uh, let's see. I'm going to play uh, one, of, one of my favorite ones here. <laughs> um, this is the second single I put out. And it was one of those that, that my wife also had a big party. And she... And y'all write together too, right? Oh, yeah. We do everything together. Yeah. We, we write it, we promote it, we we push it, we critique it. We that's why, that's why, that must be why we get along so well. I think so. We, we got the same kind of team structure we do. going on. It's a good, it <laughs> is, man. It's, it's a great team and it's a great way to, to do things because you do it together. Right, right. It's always better, especially when you got your friends with you, your best friend. Absolutely. You. So, we were driving, I was leaving, and I, every time we drive by there, I, I, I pointed out to him, like, that's where this song was written. Um, I was leaving Lufkin, Texas, going on like a, a four or five day run, and uh, I'd stopped just outside of Die Ball, this truck stop we had on the right, and uh, I got me like a, a sandwich and a bag of chips or something, and I was headed down to Katie, so I called Tamara, she was asleep, and I woke her up, and I was telling her, you know, she always used to put her feet up on the dash in the truck and go to sleep, right? 
And so, oh, this one about the windows on the yeah, dashboard. Yeah, right? little footprints. <laughs> the footprints on the yeah. window, yeah. <laughs> so she'd always leave little footprints on the windshield on the truck. And I'd <laughs> aggravate her about it, you know. And, and, but, you know, for the, for the first time going out without her, those footprints weren't there anymore. And, and she wasn't there. So I called her and was like, you know, babe, I just kind of kind of miss having your footprints on the windshield. She kind of sit there for a second. She said, well, don't me write the song. I thought about it. I said, yes, ma'am. And literally, you know, I got back home and sat down and it came out and this one's called Footprints on My Windshield. So. Well, I've been gone, I've been gone too long, girl, I know. It's hard on you. So hard on you, cause it's starting to show. So come on in and we'll head out of town. Find the perfect spot where we can't be found. And get back everything that we've been missing. Yeah, tonight, I want your footprints on my windshield. Oh, tonight. How I feel, and you can kick your heels up on the dash, press your toes up against the glass tonight. I want your footprints on my windshield. Well, I came. It's hard to believe that I'm here with you. I've been out chasing dreams, these six strange dreams have been missing me some you. I'm gonna dance with you in my headlights. I'm gonna grab your heart and hold it tight. And get back everything that we've been missing. Get a night. Oh, tonight, I want you to know just how I feel. You can kick your heels up on the dash, press your toes up against the glass tonight. I want your footprints on my windshield. I'll lean on by Close your eyes and keep us right on track tonight Oh, tonight I want your footprints on my windshield Oh, tonight I want you to know just how I feel You can kick your heels up on the dash Press your toes up against the glass tonight. Oh, tonight, yeah, tonight. I want your footprints on my windshield. stuff yeah man footprints on the windshield that's man. it that's everybody's been there you've all had it oh absolutely you've all gone out there to clean your truck up and like <laughs> sometimes put your you feet do. on the dash <laughs> but you miss it when they're not there absolutely you do. <laughs> so is that memory of hurt man like, it is uh, yeah it's, it it's, is man absolutely little so, things like that that make it make it all worthwhile yeah yeah it's funny that. how things like that can turn into a song you know Oh, Just that, that feeling can spark something. And it, and it does. It, it does. Uh, uh, you know, y'all y'all write a lot of songs together. Uh, actually, my last single was was one that Jamie and I had didn't even have a hand in. So, mm -hmm. uh, which which is really cool. Um, uh, 
it, it's it's a huge leap of I guess of faith, you know. Right. You know, using somebody else's songs because I'm I'm mean, we're part, probably pretty partial to oh yeah, you yeah. Know, to sing our own yeah, tunes. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a uh, it's a hard feeling to do, man. Yeah, it's a hard thing. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, this last single, "Roll That Way," uh, hit hit uh, what was it twenty? I think number twenty six on the on the Texas uh, regional chart. It mm -hmm. also did a little bit of work on the. Uh, Country music breakout chart out of Nashville as well, but um, right. uh, we went to Bernie Nelson and, and Rick Huckabee. And right. uh, I met him in uh, Mason, Texas. Great of guy, all places. Man. Great yeah. guy. We we actually had had breakfast with him one morning at Fredericksburg. Uh, he hangs around Fredericksburg, and Mason yep. a lot. But uh, but uh, this this song right here is a song that they wrote uh, a few years back. Um, in fact, I think they forgot that they wrote it. Yeah, <laughs> and so, yeah. yeah and I'm so, sure you do that too, man. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. I sit down like on days and I go through the books and I'm like, that's a pretty good song. And I was like, when did wait I a write minute. that? <laughs> when? Hold on, when did I write this song? Man? <laughs> I need to go back and look at this one again. And, um, so this, it's a song about a, just an independent, hardworking woman. And it, it kind of reminds me of my parents, uh, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. And every time I sing it, it, it my parents had that just that just really good relationship that they're real comfortable with each other and 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 uh, yeah I mean they, they've been married for almost forty years now you know wow, that's so, a, so that's uh, a feat itself now oh, oh absolutely and uh, but this song's called Roll That Way and uh, like I said it was written by Bernie Nelson and Rick Hubbard. <laughs> time for me but when I get that come on look you know it drives me insane you see that crazy side of you you know just what to do look when you roll that way when you let your hair fall down you put your care Oh, side, you come all unwound, and girl, I can't deny, I'm so glad you're mine. We go out on Friday night, you put on that lip dress, shows the way that God made you. And it ain't fair, I must confess Because only other guys Wishing they were in my place You put on your little show Wink at them before we go Love it when you roll that way When you let your hair fall down You put your cares Oh, sigh, you come all unwell. Girl, I can't deny, I'm so glad you're mine. And when we turn out the lights, you tell me it's getting late. Just when I think that you're too tired. Find a way to light that fire Love it when you roll that way And it's almost more than I can stand I'm a lucky man Love it when you roll that way little tips not too long ago about uh you know from cody wayne about about 
you know, kind of running a little songs up the Texas chart, and uh, <laughs> you know, he's he's had a little bit of uh, you know good good experience. Uh, yeah, we I mean, it, it gets tough. Uh, you know, hire, hire a promoter to do all the little things that you got to get done to do this business. And uh, I tell you what, uh, the last few singles, we've kind of been spending a little too much. And so uh, I talked to my buddy Cody Wayne. I said, man, what is going on, Cody Wayne? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like uh, you know, how, how do you do this deal? So he's, he's kind of been, been a good mentor to me, uh, you know, the last, last couple of years, you know, well, just uh, doing this deal. Thank you. I mean, we started words, at the same but, time, you know. But, but yeah, uh, it's, thank um, you for the kind words. But, but man, uh, it's it's something me and my wife jumped into, and and really not knowing what to do, but knowing we could do it. Yeah. Didn't know how having, we didn't know faith. how we were going to do it, yeah. but we were going to do it. <laughs> we're come hell that. or high water, we're going to do it. <laughs> and so, you know, I probably aggravated every radio DJ and. and I have a program director from here to New Mexico up to Nebraska, but you know, every Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hey, 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 can you play my song. Come on, man, play my song. And eventually you build a relationship and, and you know, eventually it comes down to where you're, and that's what it's all about, really. Anybody's advice, you know, is right. build a relationship with before you worry about everything else because long term you can be a you know it's better to be there for 20 years instead of five and that's how you're going to do it you know once the DJs and program directors get to know you and know that you're not just some fly yeah, through here come through and yeah. be gone tomorrow and, yeah right. once they realize all right this guy's for real this guy kind of knows what he's doing let's give him a shot right. and they will it might take you to your third or fourth single, but I've noticed that. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. Don't expect to come out on your first mm -hmm. single and, and just go to number one. It's it's, it's harder than you know because if they don't know you, they don't they don't know anything about you, and it then you go into the business side of you and know, that's a markets. whole different ball yeah game. that's a whole ball different game and... ball game. But <laughs> it's a hard business, man, and it's it's but it's fun to learn, and it's and there's no way to certain way to do it. You just do it. You do it your own way. Whatever right. works for you. Just oh, never be afraid to, to ask. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the, the funniest thing, and, and that's one thing I learned from my wife, man. We had a um, um, a show, potential show in Louisiana. We ended up getting the show. It was a while back. We opened for Trace Atkins at a four wheeler cool. park, and the uh, you know we wanted to get this show, and it just my wife picked up the phone and asked, and they're like, yeah, sure, come on. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, yeah, cool. so-and-so, I mean, that, that was Atkins, is that cool? And they're like, yeah, come on. So, <laughs> like, cool. never be afraid to ask. Like, wish they were all that easy. Huh? Exactly. And if they tell you no, you're right where you were before. No big deal. So, this next song um, is one that, that Chris mentioned earlier, or Boston mentioned earlier that I was... I wrote with a good friend of ours named Mr. Neil Laney, and uh, he he owned a guitar shop here in town, or a music shop. It wasn't just a guitarist, but owned a, a, a music shop here in town, and, and I think literally I've seen him give the shirt off his back to somebody. Man. And um, he, he ran into some health problems, and I got a phone call that said, hey man, come see him because you may not get another chance. And so uh, I took a guitar that he had actually given me as a wedding present. See, it's, I took this, this old guitar I had in because to get some repair done on the fret. And, you know, he'd fix it up. Well, it's about two or three weeks worth of work, and I didn't have another guitar. So he's like, he grabs one off the shelf. It's like, here, here's a good one. Use this one while, you, while you're out. He's like, all right. So I came back, and he's like, well, you're going to get married, aren't you? I said, yes, sir. He goes, just keep it. Here's your wedding present. Hey. Like, Are you kidding me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, thank you very much. So... <laughs> I took that guitar and I went to see him, just maybe to cheer him up in the ICU, and and uh, we were playing and, and just kind of jamming along. He said, "I want to write a song." I said, "All right, what about?" He said, "Well, I've always been a lover of a good old country song." Fifteen minutes, right there in the ICU, song hit. We were jamming, people were walking by, singing and, and clapping, and it was it really came together quick and, and really just. 
magical. I knew something was there when it happened. So I wanted to run as fast as I could to the studio and get it done. Uh, one, so he could have it and he could hear it. And two, because it's, I think it's a really good song. Because it really, you know, and it's, and it's what's, kind what's of... The, what's the title? Of it? It's called uh, I, Good Old Country Song. Good Old, good, yeah. good old Country Song. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's from the point of view as, you know... And I that's looked, your new one, right? Yeah. yeah. And I looked up to him as a mentor, you know, and it's kind of, it's kind of, that's the way the song's written. It's, it's from a... Uh, um, someone, you know, from giving advi advice about good old country. Like, imagine, like, Sam Elliott, you know, sitting down, glass of whiskey, his kids come in, like, man, you hear that so-and-so new pop country song? That's that's country music. He's like, boy, sit down and let me tell you about a good old country song. So, here it is. <clears throat> Bright lights, honky tonk and hard nights. The ringing of a no flat top guitar. Our country music is always what I have been into. Hey, I'm a lover of good old. Country song. Yeah, I'm a lover of a good old country song. Telling stories about my life, the women done me wrong. When I get lost, they got my way. Not to step right on home Cause I'm a lover of a good old country song Well it's the sound of a true And three chords born from 90 proof As smooth as any whiskey soaked melody Dance hall beauty queens Spinning round a hardwood floor Hey, I'm a lover of a good old country song Yeah, I'm a lover of a good old country song Telling stories about my life, the women done me wrong. And I get lost, they got my way, not to step right on home. Cause I'm a lover of a good old country song. Telling stories about my life, the women who done me wrong. When I get lost, they got my way, and I to step right on home. Cause I'm a lover of a good old country song. Yeah, I'm a lover. Oh, good old country song. Hey. <laughs> that's it, man. You can't get much country in there. Oh, I know that's right. And it just fit, man. When it came together, it was just like, boom. Oh, I, it, I know. I, I know that. Feeling. That's one of them, yeah. them Gary Stewart singing <laughs> at the moon kind of, you know.
end of the night. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Especially when everybody's had a couple of drinks. Yeah. And, and everybody's like, man, I've been wanting to hear a good old That's country it. song. <laughs> but um, talking about a good old country song, Jamie and I, we were down in, in Mexico. Oh, about... Oh, well, I remember the hell it go, man. years ago. Uh, it, it was great. Are you talking about the guitar mm -hmm. festival? Yeah, we were... Well, actually, I was down there uh, playing a guitar festival this last year, but uh, uh, a couple more years back than that, uh, we were down in Mexico, we were on the beach, and we were writing a song, and um, Jamie had found out that I had never written a, a drinking song. Yeah. <laughs> and so she's like, what are you doing being a country country musician, country artist, and not having a drinking song? And she said, we got to fix that. <laughs> and so so uh, we were sitting down there by the pool, and... Um, and the melody and the, the lyrics just kind of hit at the same time. And uh, it was in the key of A, mm -hmm. you know. And, One of my favorites. And, uh, about oh, that. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't know, it just, uh, we had plenty of, plenty of influence uh, and inspiration uh, from family members and friends mm -hmm. uh, to write this song. And uh, it was, this was actually my, my second or third single, second or third. And um, did did okay on the charts, not as well as what I'd like to, but you might see why here in a minute. <laughs> we put a few controversial lyrics in there, and, uh, yeah. and, and, and well, we found out, you know, there's little things that you say you find out along the way, and I uh, found out that, you know, uh, putting kicking ass and smoking grass next to each other in a song just wasn't gonna <laughs> wasn't gonna work for radio. <laughs> so so it it goes a little something like this. What's the title? Oh, One More Drink. Just say, this is called One More Drink. This is called One More Drink. A one, a two, a one, two, red hand. Well, I was sitting right there enjoying the view, minding my own and having a few. And then you walked by, caught my eye. I leaned over and tried to say hi. I fell off that old bar stool and acted just like a fool. You know I did. One more drink, I leave this bar. One more drink, man, where's my call? One more drink and then I'll kick some ass. One more drink and then I'm smoking grass. One more drink. I'm a girl, one more drink, I conquer the world. I said, hey, one more drink. Well, I dusted myself right off of that floor. No need to cuss, cause I've been there before. So I jumped up and threw down my hat. I looked around and said, who did that? You were looking quite confused, but everybody in the bar was amused. One more drink, I leave this bar. One more drink, man, where's my car? One more drink, and then I kick some ass. One more drink, and then I'm smoking grass. One more drink, I find me a girl. One more drink, I the world. Hey, one more drink. Well, right about then, I hit a brick wall. Come to find out it was her boyfriend, Paul. He didn't look confused, and I don't think he was amused. You gotta know just when to say when, or you could end up in the pen. Oh, Lord, one more drink, I'll leave this bar. One more drink, man, where's my car? One more drink, and then I'll kick some ass. One more drink and then I'm smoking grass. One more drink, I'll find me a girl. One more drink, I conquer the world. Hey, hey, 
one more drink. Jamie's parents house like we were we were having a few drinks before we got there <laughs> and <laughs> you just gay. never know where you're gonna you're gonna end up with that one more drink but we ended up at Jamie's parents house that day and uh and and there was we had a little circle going it was just her immediate family and then the little niece you know she was getting her Native American name you uh -huh. know and uh, uh I'm not gonna say what that was that's not important but uh <laughs> and we'll talk about that later but anyways her her dad had a peace pipe that was like a hatchet. Yeah. <laughs> and and he, he reached down and picked some grass, you know, off off the ground and he put it in the pipe. I, I looked at Jamie, I said, Are we fixing to smoke grass? <laughs> I, said, I said, So man, you never know where you're gonna end up with that one more drink. That's <laughs> so, it. Absolutely. But uh but true true story right there. So a lot of folks don't really believe that, you know, but uh, that's that's where that part of the uh, song actually came from yeah and that's so. you know it's it's weird how you can take uh little bits and pieces of of, of your life and things that happen to you and then kind of put them together to tell a story you absolutely know? one more drink i've i've wound up places i wasn't supposed to be with one more yeah. drink <laughs> so, okay. yeah. so cody wayne uh you know we've known each other for quite a while mm -hmm. and um i know that you're a songwriter mm -hmm. uh songwriting troubadour mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> songbirds and troubadours that's what we're doing right here but uh but man uh i guess my first question to you would be um what song did you enjoy writing the most and just just tell, why tell, tell me a little bit about the song that you enjoyed writing the most um honestly i would say fly high, fly high. One, yeah and it it was it was fun because it was all the truth. It was literally, and there wasn't any thinking to it. It was, this is, this is exactly where I am in my life with my family right now. Just, it almost wrote itself. Right. And it, it was the way it came out and the way it, it flows and the energy. It's, I'm really proud of it. And it, it always, I think it's something that's going to stick with me and, and stay with me. And, you know, I hope it's one of those songs that, you know, a good song never dies, you know, oh, yeah. whether it, when it come out 30 years ago or, or five years ago, it's still good. It's right. still relevant. And I hope, I hope that song is that's one Because I can sing that one every night of my life and be happy for it. And plus having the video of it, you know, <laughs> it, it, it helps, it yeah. helps, you know, concrete that song. Yeah, it's, it's more, more than you know, just, just, it's more than just words on a paper or, you right. know, a chords in a, Put together a certain way there's a it's got its own life its own you know um it has a memory for everybody at wow. certain points of it and so um i hope you know that can stick around and it means a lot to me and i hope it means a lot to everybody else Absolutely. too I, I, I believe it. Well, that's a great song man thanks man yeah, you got a lot, a lot of great songs i appreciate you know, that's, that that's why i was just asking which one you, you thought was you know, maybe your favorite one to write, you know, because mm -hmm. it's like, man, you, you start listening to this guy, it's like, man, like, one thing I like, really like about your music, too, is that I can turn it on and I can understand what it is that you're saying. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, that's, that's a huge, like, I mean, that, that's a huge must for a guy like me, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, oh, like, yeah. Uh, I, I need to be able to clearly hear the words, and I mean, you, you, you do that, you know? Thank you. Like, uh, you know, so that's, that's re really awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And, and so, like you said, we've been going back. We go back a little ways. The Cody's, <laughs> the, the time frame, you know, I was following him on radio tour. And, and not intentionally, but it just seems like everywhere I went, you know, I was right behind him. Or I was either right behind him or he was right behind me. Because, like, I'd go to a station and leave and I'd turn on the radio and I'd hear him on the radio. Oh, yeah, we're here. So I was like, where's this guy at? He's got, you know, so. But how do we keep running in? <laughs> what I, I don't want, I don't like the question of of what got you into music is obviously it, it's you get that a lot and, and everybody kind of has the same answer but what was that point 
in your life that you knew I can do this? Whenever, uh, whenever I had, I had quit music and I didn't, you know, I was going to give it up. <laughs> and and uh, I, I graduated from A and M, and I, I moved to Nashville, and then yeah, and then uh, I moved on back to Texas after a few months being there, and and uh, uh, you know, I just I, I I wasn't ready, and I knew that I wasn't ready, mm -hmm. and so I moved back home, and I ended up joining the army, kind of got away from music a little bit, and uh, I was at my first duty station at Fort Carson, and I got picked up to play music uh, with with an army group mm -hmm. and um, I was I was playing music with a with a homeless man on a street corner in Colorado Springs and uh, somebody came out of the crowd I was with my buddy Tony and uh, uh, came out of the crowd offered me a business card and asked me if I wanted to sing for the army and uh, the next thing I knew I was singing for the army and um, when I stepped we, we did we did several shows with the army but whenever I stepped up on the stage at the Texas Motor Speedway, there was a hundred, I think, a hundred and one thousand people in the crowd that day. Mm -hmm. And I stood up on that stage and I looked straight ahead, and the people just wrapped around me. And I got to do my original song, mm -hmm. which no nobody from the music group got to do an original song. Yeah. Like this, the the music director, uh, he had his doctorates from Juilliard. And music and physics, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so, yeah. so I mean, he was really strict, and I, I was like, I was like, you know, I was just totally blown away that that he would even let me do an original song because he was totally, you know, he was really not that kind of guy. Like he was really strict, and so uh, whenever I got to get up on that stage and do that song in Texas while I was in the army, you know, it's it's it's. And plus the whole thing about being discovered on a street corner playing music with a homeless man. I mean, that's that's uh, uh, that that was a big deal, you know, oh, yeah. a big big deal for me. And and uh, it, it was kind of like one of those things that uh, it, it was to me. It was a, a huge sign, uh, yeah. a really huge sign. And but that that's that's kind of when it when it all when it all. I guess when it all solidified to me that maybe I'm supposed to be doing something to do with music, you mm -hmm. know, uh, the good Lord keeps putting you back in little situations, and then, then the good Lord brought Jamie to my life, and and uh, you know she she believed it was almost in the like music too. You can do this, but let, let me give you some help. Absolutely, <laughs> man. You know, guys like us need oh, help. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So Boston Chris, you know that's right. Guys yeah. like us need help. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, that that was that was probably th those two little instances right there. I mean, that was pretty. Uh, that's when I just I, I don't know. I just <laughs> you know that hey, there's something to this, mm -hmm. and that it's just it's not just a coincidence. You yeah. know, I'm I'm actually supposed to be doing something with. At that point, I didn't really even recognize it as a talent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. I, was, I was just like, "Well, I play guitar a little bit, you know, and I sing a little bit, you know." All right. And, and uh, so, but but that was that was it for me right there. Uh, you remember uh, down in your neck of the woods, um, a little town, town Al Roker over here, town called uh, <laughs> Bremont, Texas. Bremont, Texas. I do. I remember Bremont from a long time back. You used to have a little joint down the, there. Right in town called Big Mike's Bar. Big Mike's, yep. It's the first place I ever played. Really? Yep. Really? Okay. The owner, I went in there and... Big Polish, Polish, yeah. uh, Polish community over there, Bremont. Yep. Yeah. We went down and we got a farm over in Franklin. Okay. And so I'd go over there. I went over there on a Wednesday. And, uh, just walked in with my guitar. I was like, hey, I want to play here. I'm going to play some songs. <laughs> first place, you know, I'm, I'm like three weeks out of the Marines. And so he's like, you playing anywhere? I said, nope. He said, well, <laughs> I said, I can do an open mic night at College Station. And he said, all right, I'll come listen to you. So he came over there. He actually listened. came. Yeah. Wow. And he said, uh, what are you doing tomorrow night? I said, I'm playing at your bar. <laughs> I mean, Good I was, answer. He goes, Great answer. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. He goes, you got a sound system? I said, no, sir. So we went over to Backstage Sound, College Station. He rented the PA, and I played for tips. Made $4 the first night. Still got them framed at my mom's house right now. The first four dollars I ever made playing music, and from then on I was like, I can do this. I got this. 
that's so, awesome. And it's it's great hearing those stories, the different sides of, of that moment, because it's a, it's always a moment, and you sit there and you're not you're not planning on it, and it's like and you're not ready for it. Yeah, either. it just slaps you in the face. You're like, wow, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. You know, <laughs> it's, and it's like that locomotive engine that old steam engine that that starts out real slow it's like i can do this yeah i can do this i mean I, I can do i can really do this yeah man, I, I, I can do this <laughs> hey everybody this is cody joe hodges and i want to play on lane <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so i'm gonna play on tune it's uh it's one of cody wayne's actually it's it's called fly high and, he was telling me about it a while ago, and it's it's kind of bits and pieces that he's put together from his life, and you know, because um, uh, the chorus comes in, and I can't I can't explain it for somebody. It's, it's I'm Cody Wayne. That's Cody Hot. It's, it's hard to explain it from somebody else's point of view. But so this is a song I wrote, and it's it's I took lines that I was given like all through my life that I never really paid attention to until later on, you know. And, and kind I, of like the things that you didn't know. That yeah, didn't know, exactly. Like, you know, now like, you know, you know. Like, and, oh. and, and, you know, and so um, the, in the chorus, you know, Fly High is one that I got from my father-in-law. Right about the time my wife and I decided that instead of being a hobby, this was going to be a career kind of Which thing. Which is a huge leap of faith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, um, I went to her, her dad and I asked him, I said, what's some advice you can give me? And he said, well, if you fly high, you can come in low. What does that mean? You know, uh, what, what are you talking Hold on. You can't just say that. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, aim big. If it doesn't work out, come back home. Try again. Go on a different path. Okay. He's like, but always try. Yes, sir. So the second line is... is uh, when I got out of the Marines, and that's kind of that point in my life where it's like, what do I do? Well, I don't know what to do. Who, who am I? What's going on? What do How I do, do I do relate to this world, you know? And it was uh, my ex stepdad. Um, he's a huge horse racing fanatic. And uh, I was like, you know, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? And he said, well, if I'm betting on races, I don't know what to make a bet on. I always bet on a great horse in the seventh race. it would be all right. Okay, and it's like, he's like, so I took that as relating it to do what you know you need to do right. and then everything else will work itself out. Absolutely, yeah. And then the, the next line after that I actually got from a football coach I had and we used to go work on his horse ranch in the summers. Right. And he'd always, always, you know, he's like, you know, he's old school, old school coach and he, you know, I can pay you this amount and not take taxes out, or I can pay you this amount and take taxes and you make a little more. I don't care. What's going to make the most, you know? I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a rancher, old school rancher, and he's always, money exchanges hands, you look the man in the eye, you shake his hand, uh, you know, so that's where that line comes from. And so I took it and related that to everything up to that point that I'd been through with, with you know, it was, it's probably the most realist, truest thing I've written about right then myself my family and what we're doing and what we're going through and i honestly feel it's the best first line i've ever written in my life oh man that's awesome and, and just the first line and, and everybody that's trying to do this in music can relate it says i've been chasing dreams on the sound of six strings and songs that nobody knows let, let that set in for a second. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so. Anyway, it's called Fly High. That's Here we true go. True music, folks. True music. Well, I've been chasing dreams on the sound of six strings, songs that nobody knows. Trying to get a dollar, all I got is dimes. Getting me down the road. I'm a wheeling and a dealing and a stabbing and a stealing. That kind of life. I don't credit, you can bet it. I ain't ever gonna sweat. Now let me give you some advice. If you fly high, you can come in low. I always bet on the gray and the seven, and you'll be good to go. Shake your head. Put your hands on a woman Or let the whiskey 
change your mind Well I ain't no devil and I ain't no saint It seems I'm doing alright Got a house and some kids and a pretty little woman Who knows how to treat me right I found a cheap recorder, now I'm up to making chords People are singing my songs Through the struggles and the strife When I see my name in lights It's feeling I can't be wrong If I hide, become a Lord I always bet on the grave and seven You'll be good to go Shake your head Put your hands on a woman Or let the whiskey change your mind While all the bars, guitars, and second-hand cars Have taught me a thing or two It's life can get you down like an old ghost town In the end it's all up to you And if I Shake your head when money's earned. Don't put your hands on a woman. Or let the whiskey change your mind. No way to change your mind. No. Just like you said, that just came to you all at once. Yeah, right? like, yeah. Like, I mean, like, like, after uh, melody come first, the lyrics come first. Like, um, that one, it, it, it really, happens differently for every song, right? It does. Yeah. It really does. And um, that one, I never really had any ideas for it until um, after I talked to my wife's dad and my father-in-law. And I came back home and I was sitting down. I was playing. It's like fly high, fly mess. I can do something with that. And I, was like, I like the up, upbeat tempo. Uh, yeah. I like the, like it's like, if you fly high, you can come in low. If you fly, you fly high. It's like, flying high, you're taking off. You yeah, know? yeah. Fly high, that you can come in low. Yeah. It was that And you right? have a music video for that song. We do. Here, right? <laughs> we do. I <laughs> filmed out the Russ County Municipal <laughs> Airport. Right and a good buddy helped us out, and he's got a plane in the hangar out there. And he was flying for us, and we took it from a like it was a Top Gun course, you know. Like yeah. there were these two girls that were the instructors, and we were all like the young hot shots. We knew what we were doing. And, and if you hadn't seen the video, go check it out. <laughs> yeah, too. It's a yeah, really, really you can find video. it. Um, yeah. It's it's on our, our website, CodyWayneMusic.com. We got it <laughs> right there, big front center. You can check that out. It's got links to everything else too. So make sure you check that out. Absolutely. What you got for us, Coach Joe? All righty. Uh, well, I've got, uh, okay, talking about, I've got a song that I haven't released yet. Oh. Okay. I'm going to do uh, I'm right, right here a little special. Spin to get to those two. <laughs> Austin and Chris special right here. Um, it's a song that started at the dinner table, and uh, Jamie was in the kitchen. I was at the, I was at the table, and uh, I just, I heard the, the first line of the song, and I heard a melody. Mm-hmm. And it just like I don't know, it just it just you know it hits you sometimes it just hits you, and and this sound just hit me, and uh, it's it's called I Bet It All on You. Uh, Jamie helped me out with this one too, and uh, we do we do pretty much uh, most of my songs she has a hand in. Uh, she's my partner. She we do we travel together. I mean she she books me, uh, she manages me, yeah. we write songs together. I mean it, there's no better teammate uh, ever, than Jamie. Uh, you you know? ever go in there and you're just like. Jamie, this is this song is awesome. This is the best thing I've got. I love this part. She's down. like, no, that didn't work. I don't get it. No, oh yeah, that, that, that was hard to <laughs> do with this first it, though. Oh, absolutely, it was because your feelings yeah. are like right here. 
And then she's like, no, you're like, We've gotten some arguments <laughs> over that before, and I've had to, you know, I've had to learn, you know, but I had to learn that hey, it's, but, o- it's okay to be told that it's not good because that means you can only go up exactly. from, from from the product that didn't start as good as what. You and know, usually, ten times out of ten, she's right. Oh, it's 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 gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be better with her input on it. I oh, promise yeah. you that. And uh, and to me, there was no better song. Uh, this is kind of like my love song. I haven't mm-hmm. written a whole lot of love songs. Um, it's a song called I Bet It All On You, and uh, it just, uh, I don't know, it's just, I'm going to do it for you right here with no, with, with no more do. <laughs> and you'll hear, you'll hear what I'm talking about that first line, so uh, <clears throat> it goes a little something like this. To lay your heart on the table I've never met someone that gets me The way you do All I want to do is hold you close Keep on rocking until we lose control When the night is through I'll bet it all on you Let's call a spade a spade Get out of the club Make your eyes shine like diamonds Stole my heart in this game we play And when the night is through I'll bet it all on you Sparkles in the neon moonlight, and I do my best to hold back. That music playing, our bodies swim. Got one thing on my mind. Pour another glass Let some time pass And hold me close, babe You gotta make it last And when the night is through I'll bet it all on you Let's call a spade a spade Get out of the club Make your eyes shine like diamonds Stole my heart in this game we play And when the night is through I bet it all on you. I bet it all on you. (laughs) Yeah. 
bet it all on you. That. Not released yet, uh, but uh, you know. That was soul. Thanks, that was man. Thank you, you could hear the heart, the soul, and the love in that song. There's a lot of love in that song, and uh, and that, that's what I keep telling her. You know, it's just I said, baby, I do love you. I said, man, you just. I keep saying that. I know she's gonna believe it one of these days. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> she says, you know, and of course we we put each other through a lot of hell on the road. You know, mm. uh, we're, we're traveling. I mean, just this last month of, of June, we put nine thousand miles on the mm -hmm. van, and that's uh, that's 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 a lot of time that's to spend with to anybody. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, <laughs> and so a lot a lot of folks do ask, you know, how we how we do it, and uh, it's just uh, look. Just be, be kind, a lot of love, you know. I mean, we, we we have our ups and downs, but uh, but at the end of the day, I did bet it all on her, and she bet it all on me, mm -hmm. and so uh, you know, so there's there's no no better reason to make it work. That's you know? it. So that's it. That's absolutely right. And so what she got? What this she got? This is the unreleased, the unreleased stuff, man. Getting to the new stuff. It's actually uh, fairly recent. It just happened, and, and right. Not to give away our uh, coordinates, our GPS positions. You get up the road a little bit from here. Uh, there's a four-way stop out in the middle of nowhere. And, well, I say out in the middle of nowhere. It's got a gas station and a church house okay. out there at it. And it, you can ask anybody around here that everybody's ran it at some point. Like, even on the way up here, I sit there, and it's just a blinking four-way stop. And I'm thinking, oh, that's a red light. I'm just sitting there. Wait for it to turn green and the lights just flash at me. I'm pretty sure Cars I, I, I think we passed yeah. through there and come yeah. up here. So <laughs> me, and, me and Tamara actually had a, a, a night to go out to eat. We okay. came over and had something to eat and I was coming back home and I was like, I'm going to stop this time. I'm, I'm going to do it. So I stopped at this four-way stop with a person coming the other direction, blew right on through it. Oh, yeah, and so she man. called him a, a, a name. And not me just picking at her. I said, "Baby, you can't talk like that." Church house saying, right there. Saying, you know? "Baby, you talking about me any other day?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, church house right there. You can't say that. And she's like, "Wow, well, I'm just a bad influence, aren't I?" And I just didn't even think. It just popped off. It's like, "Yeah, well, you're the best bad influence I ever had." And we both went. Hey, that's a good one. Wait a minute. She's <laughs> like, "That's the next song." I said, "You're absolutely right. That's the next one." And so. Uh, and anybody who's been there understands. Yeah. I mean, it's just like the, it, boom, that's it. Yeah. That's the song. That's the next idea. And so I, I really, you know, it, it's, if anybody knows, knows my wife, it, it, she's a hard worker. For she's one. a hard worker, yeah. no filter. What you see is what you get. <laughs> she's going to tell it how it is. And, and She's amazing. That makes you more successful, though, in the long run. It does. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, and it's and it's not like a bad. Like said, thing it might hurt her. our feelings at the beginning when she tells us the truth sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the truth is way better than a lie any day. Yeah, and it's <laughs> there's a line in this song that is is her 100 percent to a T. Right. And it says, um, um, "Your sass in class, a hammer to glass, a like it or not debutante that talks trash." <laughs> That's her. To a T. And so, this song is called Bad Influence. It's going to be on the next record. It goes like this. Well, I had my wild side back in my day. It was bars, guitars, and getting drinks for pay. You were class and sass, I hammered a glass. I like it or not, debutante to talk trash. Well, I thought I'd done it all, and I thought I'd seen it all. But you caught my eye by surprise, and I was done. A hot southern mess, at your worst, you're my best. A hippie gypsy rebel, I don't roll into one. Cause you're the best bad influence I ever had. Yeah, you're the kind of trouble. Makes a man go mad. When I let go of my grip on life. They got me buzzing like that old burnout neon sign. You're so the best bad influence I ever had. Well, I had just enough 
crazy Chase after you I didn't know where it would go But I had to see it through As free as could be Had your spell on me You're a double shot I won't stop that I got a drink Cause you're the best Bad influence I ever had Yeah, you're the kind of trouble that Makes a man go mad I let go my grip on life They got me buzzing like that old burnout neon sign Cause you're the best bad influence I ever had And I never knew that I was looking for a girl like you This roller coaster we wrong Got my heart up and gone With my hands up in the air Cause you're the best bad influence I ever had yeah, you're the kind of trouble that makes a man go mad While well, I let go of my grip on life They got me buzzing like that old burnout neon sign Cause you're the best bad influence I ever had yeah, you're the best bad influence I ever had Another one, man. They like to you talk about the the melody or, or something that comes first. Just hits you. Huh? The words or something comes first. We were actually that happened. And I knew I needed to write the song, but we had to go down to actually College Station. College we Station. Went to eat, we went to eat. We went to eat at Abuelos in College Abuelos. Station. Abuelos. I've, I've, yeah. I've played there a couple times. And I was sitting. We were sitting there eating, and I just hear something that just people that that do. And I would you can attest to this, but musicians and even everything you hear things and it sounds like music but it may not be music right. you know like dishes or something clanks together or something you're just like well it's all frequencies huh. in a room too you know so it's yeah it's, it's and that's what it was we were sitting there and i was eating out here and all of a sudden the plate breaks oh yeah hey, well, that's it right there <laughs> it's like, yeah, bad influence i ever had it came to you like, like Where's the guitar? Come on. Where's it at? Let's go to the car. Du, 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 you know. Let me go call Cody Joe yeah. up and I'll go borrow a guitar and write this song. That's it, man. And it's weird how things yeah, like that happen. Absolutely. And, and you know, I've woken up in the middle of the night, like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, so I, and I've got this riff stuck in my head, and it's just stuck there. And I still, I play it every time I pick up a guitar, and I don't know what to do with it. It's aggravating mess out of me. I mean, you know, so, so, some, sometimes, though, it's not for us to decide, you know, because sometimes yeah. crazy things do get put in our mind, you know, whether it's notes or words or, or anything else, mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes it's it's a, a piece of the puzzle that you're not supposed to figure out right now, you know. That's that, true. That, that, you know, down the road, you know, he's going to let you get into that song and, 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 yeah. and, and, you know, kind of feel it as you go. Some, sometimes, you know, there's there's several tunes that we've written that, uh, that, start out like this and they end up you know oh yeah a year or two down yeah. the road oh, yeah. and i was like wow you know like that's that's so cool um um man kind of like uh kind of like writing writing songs with other people mm -hmm. uh, i guess up until like maybe i don't know 2012 um i put out a an album with uh cody hodges and the lineman mm -hmm. uh, and, and that was the first time I actually really got to, to venture out into the songwriting and, 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 and having somebody else have an input, you know, into my sound. Not saying that I thought my sound was anything great or anything, but it was just your sound is your sound and that's what you're, yeah. that's what you're comfortable with. And, and every person you meet kind of pulls your sound this way or this way, yeah, you yeah. know. And so, oh, yeah. uh, which is really cool because it gives you more diversity, you know, mm -hmm. to, to your music. But... Um, uh, it kind of leads me to, to where we're going for this next song. Um, I start writing writing songs, and uh, Jamie and I we started going up to Nashville to write some songs, mm -hmm. and um, we ended up in the uh, in a in a building that like has I think Kiss has their management in there. That's where yeah. we do like songwriting and stuff. And and uh, we sat down with Jamie and I. We sat down with a fellow by the name of Alex Maxwell, 
and uh, David Everett Johnson. And uh, of course, uh, David's from Kentucky, Alex is from Pennsylvania, and Jamie and I are both from Texas. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we just wanted to write a song about, about getting to, you know, just no matter where you come from in the United States, uh, we've all got that one thing in common that we're all Americans, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, we kind of went around the circle and says, man, what, what do you think is important to you, what, you know, and at the end of, you know, going around a few times, uh, it was very clear that the most important things to us were, uh, you know, God, uh, family, and country, mm -hmm. and, and it just gave us a, a great idea and a starting point uh, it's like man, like like that's such a such a great concept, uh, you know, especially for somebody who really appreciates, uh, uh, you know, America and just just living here in, in, in America. I mean, I mean, we we're we're the land of the free because of the brave. And uh, uh, I mean, you, you you play a lot of patriotic mm -hmm. type uh, shows, and and uh, it's 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 just an important thing, you know, for for guys like us. Especially, I mean, we, we couldn't definitely hit uh, do music if 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 uh, you know we weren't the land of the free. Obviously, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it'd be, yeah. be a little little more tough to, to get out there and do that thing. But uh, but this is a song called God, Family, Country, and it's it's uh, it, it's just a song. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty self explanatory. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> and in the song, it it kind of it kind of takes you on a. A reflection period of, of like talking to like a, a, a grandparent and, uh, and and then it moves on to like a new modern modern day you know something that we can all uh, relate to like uh, you know everybody in the new millennium we when 2001 hit mm -hmm. and then uh, um, and then in the bridge kind of just goes into uh, yeah. You're just saying that 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 we're all we all need to come together, and 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 it's not just a land that connects us. I mean, especially nowadays. I mean, we're all connected on on Facebook, mm -hmm. and, and and it's it's uh, pr pretty crazy. What were you fixing to say there? Oh no, it yeah, it was totally off topic. But it, it's <laughs> you tell you about 9/11, and it's how everybody's got that. It's a timestamp in life. Oh yeah. You know, everybody's yeah. got yeah. before that and after that. Our generation. The, you know, and it was crazy that that was like 2001. So it's like, you mm -hmm. know, <laughs> and every you know every generation has some of their you know the the major impacts in their lives. Not re relating it to war or acts of terrorism or anything, but you know you got one World War One, World War Two, and then Korea, and Vietnam, and the first Desert Storm, and then 2001, Operation Iraqi Freedom or the invasion. You know, it, it's timestamp, yeah. and because and, of and that, you're a mil military veteran. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm a military veteran, mm -hmm. and uh, and and so it's. I don't know. It's just a, like a special song. I mean, I, I, I'm sure you've got maybe some some patriotic tunes oh, yeah. up up your sleeve, you know. But uh, this this song is, is brand brand new. Uh, it, it just re was released what maybe a month or month or so ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Just just in time for uh, Fourth of July. Uh, a lot of folks were spending it Fourth of July. You know, just a great great patriotic tune. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's it's. Uh, Let's hear it. Sounds great. This is God, God, family, and country. I can still remember the smell. Grandma's homemade pie Grandpa telling stories as the sun went down but It was back in 44 Just before they wanted war And times were tough but they stood their ground They found strength in God, family, and country they found strength in God, family, and country. I know where I was when the world stopped turning. Time stood still, we bowed our heads to pray. It hit home for us all as we saw those towers fall. And we were sure to stand with our hand on our heart that day. 
We came together, God, family, and country. We came together, God, family, and country. United we stand, divided we fall. It's more than this land it connects us all. Let's get back to the basics, from the very start to the soul of this nation. America's heart is God, family, and country. Yes, God, family, and country. God, family, and country. That's what my, that's what revolves my roar. That's roar. it, man. That's all you need. No, yeah, absolutely. God, man, God is gonna take care of the rest. Sure we. <laughs> I'm a, uh, listen. Oh, yeah. I'll change it all. It's up a little lighthearted here. Uh, <laughs> take me try. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, this is called Take Me Drunk. And there was really no point to this song. I wrote it when I was DJing in Nacogdoches at a, 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 a dance hall called Bonita Creek Hall. And it's just, I was at our house, the house I lived in with my buddy. And, you know, I heard, I see, but DJing up there, you see a lot of things. You see the drunk people that are always the drunk people. You know, they're, yeah, whoa, Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember you last week. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like, and so I thought, what's well, something they could really get into? Because I'm like, I got this. And it's just kind of, like, honestly, it's just I'm sitting here looking at things around our house. Right. And I'm, I'm writing this song as, as I'm looking. I'm like, hmm, there's a, there's a, uh, we got a swimming pool. We got, a, we got this, you know. I kind of wish we had a boat. I'll put that in there. You know, it's it's really. Hey, keep wishing, man, because sometimes it's crazy. I don't know if the song writes us or we write the songs. You know. You know. Keep keep putting them good positive vibes for yourself in the songs. And like, <laughs> hey, you'll have that boat. Oh yeah, song, one day, you know? <laughs> one day. And so, and like, like the second, or the second verse, we had a uh, this little cactus in like a pot. Like it was done up. Like it was an actual plant. There's a little neon cactus that we lighted up, you know, when it's time. And we had like this picture of John Wayne up there on the wall. And I was like, meh, all right, here we go. This is called Take Me Drunk. And so if you, if you feel like playing along, go right ahead. It's just every time you hear me say it, we'll take We're me drunk. What here You're asking the wrong person. I think G, 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 G. 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 So here we go. <clears throat> take me drunk, because hey. I'm home and I don't want there alone. I need a pretty little woman like you to come and take care of me. Take me drunk, cause I'm home and all my friends don't open come. So baby, why don't you come spend the night with me? Well, I got King-size water bed And I got me a 20 foot bass boat Parked out back in the shed And I got an old t-shirt That'll fit just right And there's any kind of frozen pizza that you like So baby, why don't you come spend the night with me well, Take me drunk I'm home and I don't want to be there alone. I need a pretty little woman like you to come and take care of me. Well, take me drunk because hey. I'm home and all my friends done up and down. So baby, why don't you come spend the night with me? Got me a 
picture of the Duke himself. Oh, yeah. Cause he's my country hero. And I got a neon sign that'll light up for you. And there's any kind of liquor that you can choose. So, baby, why don't you come spend the night with me? Take me drunk. Cause I'm home. And I don't want to be there alone. Come and take care of me. Well, take me drunk, cause I'm home. And all my friends gone up and gone. So, baby, why don't you come spend the night with me? So, baby, why don't you come spend the night with me? Baby, why don't you come spend the night with me? <laughs> so, but yeah, back to the, the, I forgot to say that about the, the drunk guy at the bar. That always does it. You always see him go up and talk to, you know, they come there with their buddies and then they either end up being the drunk guy that night and their buddies are like, man, I ain't even messing with you. I'm just going to leave you here. <laughs> and so they're going around and everybody like, Talking to the girls, they're like bragging about everything they got, this house, this oh, car, this yeah. money. He wants the he wants them to come stay the night with him, but he really needs a ride home. So that's about what it is. <laughs> Welcome to us back again. Songbirds and Troubadours number twenty four with Cody Squared. Some of the best musicians in Texas. And guys, if if you follow along with the show, you know how much how how passionate I am about veterans. Um, I'm the son of a 20-year veteran in the Army. Um, my dad passed away in 2013. Uh, Cody Joe Hodges is a veteran of the Army. Cody Wayne is a veteran of the Marines. I'm a veteran of the Navy myself. So what these guys do is very inspirational to a guy like me, <clears throat> to a guy like me who loves veterans so much. And I follow both of these guys religiously because they're working their asses off to follow the dream of music. Um, so I don't normally do this in the outro, but I'm going to ask each of you a question about being a veteran and how did being a veteran or in the military prepare you for the music business, if it did at all? Cody Joe? I would, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, I'm from rural Texas, a mm -hmm. rural area in Texas, a little farming community in between College Station and Caldwell, Texas. So that means, as, as you can probably imagine, uh, we weren't exactly a diverse that's such a diverse community, you know, yeah. and 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 that that was a that was a huge thing to me uh, going into the army. I I've been been through A and M. I you know moved up to Nashville a little bit, but uh, you know, but until until I joined the army, I mean, and of course I I joined the army uh, enlisted with a with a degree from A and M. Uh -huh. that, that didn't make much sense to a lot of people, but uh, <laughs> the recruiter said I was going to have a lot more fun, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so. I think that's in their, but, uh, their speech, man. Like the the promotional material oh, for yeah. a recruiter is a lot more fun. Absolutely, and so when when you get into that uh, that that enter, I mean, when you, <laughs> you get into that entertainment mode, when you get into that uniform, and you don't know the next dude from the next dude, and the next dude after that, and it just uh, you know you're, you're all a team, you mm -hmm. know, and, and and you don't really, I mean, it, it it's. Like, like you can judge somebody real easily by by how they're looking or what they're wearing or, or, or any of that stuff but when you when you got that same uniform on with that next dude mm -hmm. there ain't no judgment to it that's I mean that that's man that dude looks just like me man mm -hmm. like I you know and, and, and it's and it's 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 one of those cool things that I I got to learn so many different people that I never would have gotten the chance to learn. Uh, if if I had not joined the, the military, and, mm -hmm. and that that was uh, another thing was was uh, uh, putting my name on the line and, and like you know and, and uh, ser serving serving my country you yeah. know and, and whatever way they find fit for me you know. Mm -hmm. Cody Wayne. Uh, uh, well, military is where I picked up playing guitar and really music was always there. You know, I the family we always they were all musical. We had friends that were musical, and, and we just kind of it was always there but I never picked up the guitar or anything until I was in the Marines my roommate played and so you know, I kind of picked it up from him and we just kind of 
Ryan Turnipseed. Ryan Turnipseed. Yes. Are you watching this, Ryan? Yes. And he's, <laughs> he's, uh, That's a good country song name. Oh, it is. Ryan it is. Turnipseed. He's, he's great. He's amazing. And, <sighs> you know, we're the first song that, that uh, we ever did was Willing by Little Feet. Nice. And, like, we were all just in the barracks room jamming out, and it just it fit, and it worked, and it felt good, and I just kind of kept going with it. I had no intention to do it and just kind of kept going with it. But being, going back to the military thing, it gave me the confidence to yeah, to stand up for myself and, and believe in myself and and put myself out there and, and knowing that I, I was confident, knowing that I could do it, and knowing I had something to offer. Um, but it also gave me the work ethic, too, to... You know, there's times where you have to get this done, and then there's times you can play. And so, it, getting on the stage is the easy part, and playing, that's the easy part. Everything else the, to that point <laughs> is the hard work. And, and so, and that's, you know, that gives a lot of, of uh, the confidence, the feelings, and know, you know, knowing how to do it, and knowing, okay, I need to start here, and then I can work my way down to here. Mm -hmm. right. So I, that's what really helped me out. And, and like you said, mentioned the small town, getting out of that small town and meeting other people from different places. And then, you know, you get there. I, when I went to Japan, I showed up. My first airplane ride was the boot camp. Mm -hmm. You know, get the boot camp. And then from then you on, what, was, same here. here you go, here you go. You're going here, you're going here. It's funny, my first airplane ride, they told us we were going to Great Lakes, Michigan. Yeah. For U.S. Navy boot camp, and we landed in Orlando. Really? And I was like, this doesn't look like Michigan. Yeah. Does it get to be 98 degrees in Michigan? All right. And so, yeah, we, we were planning to go to Great Lakes, and somehow when we were in midair, the duty orders changed. Really? And sent us to boot camp in Orlando instead. So I always tell the story that I went from freezing my ass off to sweating my ass off. <laughs> right. And I didn't even know it was happening. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. And, but know, that's the military for you. It is. <laughs> and like the just having that experience. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> having the experience of, of when I went to Japan, you know, I was, we were basically sitting on Okinawa for two weeks, just enough time for a, a typhoon to roll through. And then oh, no. a guy walks in and hands me another guy an envelope. So here you go, and walks off. And it's directions from getting on a plane to fly from Okinawa to Hiroshima, Japan. In a different to, language, huh? Oh, no, no, it was oh, in no, English. It was, it was, it was, it was, and then we had to get on a train and <clears throat> take the train to, uh, to our duty station. Mm -hmm. Nobody to help you do it. And I'm, yep. I'm from Leverage Chapel, Texas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> And it's like never seen a train in your life, yeah. probably. Yeah. And so you get to Hiroshima, and it's like tallest person there. Oh my god! And there's so many people. It's like maybe like we're just kind of like <laughs> flipping a coin to decide we get on the right train. Yeah. yeah. And then luckily didn't get on the Hogwarts Express. No, right? no, yeah. we did not. Yeah. But we That's get a whole to where different going. station right there, folks. Yeah. <laughs> and we get to where we're going, and we we didn't fall asleep by then, because I mean it's like 30 train stops in there, and luckily this little Japanese dude like, hey. Wake up. Go. Yeah. Like, oh. That's cool. All right, this is us. And you're like, I hope he's right. Let's go, you know? Yeah. And it's just the confidence to be able to, to get through something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just like that. It's just like the music world. Well, it's fun for me as a into. fan to watch you guys grow and prosper and have all this success, watching the singles climb in the charts, knowing that you guys signed up to fight for your country, just like I did, just like my dad did, just like so many other people out there did. And that wasn't your only dream. Your other dream was music, and you're making that happen. And I just wanted to say on the air that I'm extremely proud of both of y'all. I love following what y'all are doing. Um, we have two of the busiest guys in Texas here. Uh, Cody Joe here, 13 state tour right now. He's in the middle of this tour. Yeah, this is Started in April, ends in July. Found some time for us, so I, I definitely appreciate that. Thank you. I think this is like my 92nd show this year. Yeah. So, like, so, so. I, I was looking yeah. at your tour schedule today, and my, my producer looked at it, and there was a four-day 
layoff there. And she was like, what is up with this four-day layoff? And I was like, well, New York to Texas, he's got to have time to travel, <laughs> yeah. you know? And, and, and she was just like, yeah, but he's slacking, you know, just making fun. But uh, I was like, come on, man, give him time to travel, yeah. my God, you know what I'm saying? There's some uh, days in there, we can fit in somewhere. But yeah, I was, I was oh, counting yeah. it up, man, 13 states, you mentioned 9,000 miles and that you, yeah, that you June, put on the van. June, yeah. Just unbelievable yeah. stuff. Yeah. The guy's making it happen. Cody Wayne's the same way. This guy is on the road every single weekend within the state of Texas. You play outside the state mm -hmm. quite often as well. Just blowing it up, hardly ever home. <laughs> you, you actually have done what so many musicians in East Texas dream of doing, and that is getting out of East Texas to play a show. And that makes your homecoming shows that much more special. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, my advice to anybody watching from East Texas, find a way out. Even if you don't play for but four dollars, find somewhere yeah, to play. That's it. Yeah, and yeah. and you know whether it's Shreveport or Tyler or whatever, just get away from here, spread your wings somewhere else. That way, when you come back home, the fan base you've created here is going to be excited you're here instead of seeing another show on Saturday in the same venue and in be the same as, town. And be as nice as you can yeah. when you can. Right. You know, like, it's like, a small world yeah. and you're gonna see everybody again. And, That's and, right. and, and, and you're gonna you're gonna mess up too. I've messed up a couple of times. I yeah. you know and, and, I, I and uh and you, you gotta know, eat and, crow, man. You yeah, gotta, you know, it's, you know, and, and you just gotta keep moving on mm -hmm. and, and you just gotta stay strong. Sometimes it's like one thing at a time. Confidence, keep your confidence level yep. going up. That's and, right. And uh two so, two rules. Two rules. Play every show you can get and pay the band first. Yeah. Hey, man. You'll be okay. Amen. <laughs> so we're, we're proud to have both these guys here. I know they're extremely busy, so thank you both for your time and effort tonight. Thank you. Um, let's tell folks out there, Cody Joe, where they can follow along with everything you have going on. CodyJoeHodges.com. Okay. Pretty easy. It's my name, Cody Joe Hodges. So that's C-O-D-Y-J-O-E-H-O-D-G-E-S. And everything on there, your social media is there, your contact link yeah. for venues and, and stuff like that. everything. Links so. to music as well. Yeah, cool. absolutely. And um, brand new single on the way, God, Family, and Country. God, Family, and Country. Y'all check it out. Uh, got a music video out for it. Nice. Yeah, so that, that was really cool. A lot of cool folks came together and, and uh, uh, had uh, John Vernon uh, help, me, help me produce it. Um, uh, Scott McHarg, uh, McHarg uh, did, did some of the aerial... Uh, drone, drone footage. Drone footage. Uh -oh. uh, along, yeah, absolutely. Along with buddy uh, Chris Framstead. So, uh, man. Uh, didn't have one of those low riders in it, did you? No, it didn't. But but a lot a lot of my family uh, were 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 actually in the video. So that that was that was really cool. Mm, very cool. You know, to to have the family in the video. And we'll have their website um, information in the description below. So make sure you're clicking on that. Click on the social media. Click like and follow. Completely free. And that's going to help these guys more than anything else you can do. Those social media followings are so important. So keep that in mind out there. Mm -hmm. Cody Wayne, same question. Where can folks find you? CodyWayneMusic.com. Real simple. All you got to do is type it in and go there. It's got links to all the social media stuff. We've got Cody Joe's address up there so you can go find him Absolutely. at his house. Say hi. Tell him I sent you. Absolutely. You can't even find his personal <laughs> Facebook anymore. So I know that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be Hodges CJ. And now yeah. it's like... Yeah. Bruce Wayne or something. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. can't find it. Y'all look at Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bruce Wayne at Facebook. Yes. Absolutely. I don't know what happened to that. Yeah. You're just like incognito all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I kind of want to make a little few changes and, yeah. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Facebook yeah. it can be uh, a saint or a devil. Again, one of yeah. y'all songs. To well, I, have to, I have to take my space too. Uh, yeah. You oh, know, oh, yeah, man, uh, I know. You know, plus, plus I also noticed too, like on Facebook, like there's so many people that I don't even know who they are. Mm -hmm. Some people I don't have any mutual friends with. I'm like, how? Do All of you a sudden they're waving like, at you in like, Messenger. It's like, what yeah, does this mean? And, and, and they get like, you know, any, anyway, that's a long that, story. That used to be like, called, you get a beep. Like back in our day when we had beepers. <laughs> or a poke. Yeah. That's a oh, social media. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a poke, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, what yeah, is that? Yeah. Is that a cow poke or a regular poke? Like, what's the level of poke I'm getting here? <laughs> so it's CodyJoeHodges.com. It's CodyWayneMusic.com. Yes. Those will be in the description down below. Um, get to their social media and follow it. Um, they're on Spotify. They're on iTunes, Google Play, all of that stuff. Buy the music. Do what we do. We like to purchase the single, then we'll stream it on the streamable platforms. That way they're getting both sides of the coin and it really awesome. works out pretty well. You. Um, if you don't have your phone, like you don't use your phone for anything while you're asleep, here's a good little tip. 
Find your favorite artists, put them into a playlist on Spotify, and run that on your phone overnight. Hey, run man. your playlist, put it on you. Those artists are getting streams while you're yes. sleeping. Absolutely. Tell me that's not badass. Right? That I mean, great. That's great. I that's mean, that's, great that, that's one thing I we're not doing, so that might help our our Spotify streams yeah. a little bit. <laughs> hey, do, it, do it as an artist, you know. Yeah. Work out your oh, favorite yeah. friends and stuff. Make a playlist. <laughs> Make the playlist yeah, public, cool. even yeah. you know, Cody Joe Hodges' favorite artist or something like that or whatever. Yeah. You can add to it, you can take from it, and when you go to bed, stream that whole playlist. Wow, that's yeah, yeah okay. It you works really well. Do that, huh? Yeah, yeah I, we were out in town today, and my playlist was still rolling. <laughs> and, and we got into the car, and my Bluetooth is hooked up in the car, and I was like, "What the heck is that?" And she's like, "That's your phone." I was yeah. like, oh, that's right. I used my phone to sleep last hey, night. Hey, dude, I'll yeah. take every fraction of a penny I can get. That's right. You know? That's it. That's right. Because fraction those, of a fraction. Yeah, Absolutely. I've heard from industry sources yeah. that soda machines are fixing to take fractions of a penny. Good. So, wow. with we'll Spotify it. fractions, you can get a Pepsi Cola or something like that within six months. <laughs> yeah. You know what Maybe. I mean? 77,000 <laughs> views, right. streams. My goodness, a couple. Yeah. Well, you know, on, <laughs> on YouTube, it's uh, every thousand views, you make a dollar. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's man. interesting. What's up with that, man? I don't know. It's like, if I give you something that you want to see for a thousand times, yeah. I deserve more than a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> We're off the rails here, folks. Again, it's CodyJoeHodges.com. <laughs> CodyWayneMusic.com. It's in the description down below. If you're watching our show for the first time, you can find us at ETX Rocks. We're at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Give us a follow and like. That'll help us a lot. If you're watching on YouTube, that subscribe button is what you want to be hitting, especially if you're a music fan. We are the number one resource for independent music in Northeast Texas. Challenge me on that. I promise you we are. 1,300 videos on YouTube, 11,000 hours of content that we have created in two years of this show. Um, and you can find all of that stuff at etxrocks.show. Everything we've ever done is right there. Took me three thousand or three hundred hours to build the web page. Oh. So go check out the web page. Again, we are extremely low budget on the show. Emphasis on the word low. Um, we had to really scrounge up for another uh, light bolt today. But but you put your heart and soul into this. I, I mean, so yeah. you, you say low budget, but man. We always say you know, low budget, you, high quality. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah, you know, that's you, it. It's kind of like Home your... Improvement, the Tim Taylor show. <laughs> <laughs> low budget, high quality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, honestly, oh, guys, oh, we oh. filmed a show last Sunday. We had six light bulbs. We're down to two. That's a lot of hours. That's, that's called a visit to Walmart in my near future. Yes. So if you guys want to help out with the project, you can. Uh, we have a donate link set up. Uh, that's at www.paypal.me forward slash ETX rocks. We'll take American money, we'll take English pounds, Egyptian pounds, Polish slotty, Indian rupees, and Robert De Niro. Hey, there you oh, go. Yeah. We won't yeah. take Robert De Niro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Joe I, Pesci? You can't say no to Joe Pesci. Joe Come Pesci? We'll, we'll take Joe Pesci? Okay, we'll take <laughs> Joe Pesci. No Robert De Niro. We were taking Robert De Niro until he went off about something about Trump or something like that. And yeah. Yeah, we can't do it anymore. Uh, <laughs> you were talking about bad lyrics earlier. Yeah, it's kind of the yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. See what you did to us, Bobby? We were getting all kinds of you, and now we can't take you anymore. <laughs> but again, it's www.paypal.me <laughs> forward slash ETX rocks. We'll take anything from a nickel to a million dollars. Um, nothing more than a million tax brackets. I mean, if you're going to send more than that, like break it up. Break it up into two time. separate yeah. donations. So. Or, or send some to Cody Wayne. Or Cody yeah. Joe Hodges. <laughs> right, yeah. 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 9,000 miles in June. <laughs> yes. That's called gas money. Higher fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Make it so he doesn't have to keep eating at Hardee's and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Let, let's boost him up to a Cracker Barrel at least, right? There we go. Um, oh, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching Absolutely. Songbirds and Troubadours presented by the ETX Rock Show. We want to thank you guys out there for always supporting live music of all genres and all styles. And don't ever forget, ETX Rocks! That's right. Thank from you. the unknown to the stars, from the couch to the car, from the unheralded and the unheard, to the legends and beyond, it's where we all belong. Yes, this is where it all starts From every genre, from every plane This is where the music's played
So tune right in Won't you bring a friend This is where it all begins Welcome to the show Let the music flow Of every style and creed And you can bet your socks That ETA 